Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. A couple years ago, I did a video demonstrating how to extract the color gradient from one photo and apply that color gradient to another photo. Well, since then, Photoshop has been updated numerous times and with the recent updates to Photoshop, it's now very easy to do this. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, if you happen to see those videos I did a couple years ago, to extract the gradient, we had to go to Adobe's website and use the tools there. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. You could do it all from within Photoshop. I have this stock image. I want to apply the color gradient from this image. Many of you may recognize that this is a still image from the movie Birdman. So I want to extract the color gradient from this image and apply it to this image. They're both opened up in Photoshop. And by the way, I'm in the photography workspace. So if you want your Photoshop to look like mine so you could follow along at home, go up here and click in the top right hand corner. And I modified it slightly to Anthony's workspace. But if you go to the photography workspace, that is what we're in. So. What you should do is open up both of these images in Photoshop, and I have the image here that I want to extract the gradient from. To extract the gradient, click on the Libraries tab, and I'll pull this down to make a little more room here. See this little plus sign right there? Click on that, then at the very top, Extract from Image. We'll click on that, then this will open up, and you can see that you could extract patterns, shapes, color themes, gradients, and type. Well, we want to extract a gradient and you can see it will give you a default of three different colors there actually aren't a lot of colors in this image and this would probably be okay you could of course use less you could go down to two colors or go all the way up to 15 colors um, usually I do five uh, colors it, that seems to be usually pretty good so that's what I'm gonna do here we'll do five colors and we're gonna save it to the CC library so we're just gonna click right there and it's saved. You can see it's right here now. All right, so we'll close this down. We're done here. So it's right here. Now we'll go over to our other image. This is the image that I want to apply it to. Now, you could go over here and you could double click on this. Nothing's going to happen. You could right click and it will say apply gradient and you could try that, but that doesn't do anything. So what you need to do is right click right on it and then create gradient preset. Click there. All right, give it a name. I'm going to call this Birdman. All right, so we gave it a name. It's called Birdman. Now go to Adjustments, and then the very last adjustment layer right here is a gradient map. Click on that, and you'll get a horrible gradient automatically applied. But click on this drop down right here, and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there is our gradient. We'll just hover over it, and you can see it's Birdman. So I'm going to click on it and apply it. All right, now it's applied. Now we, got, we have to change the blend mode so that it blends properly. Go to the blend mode drop down here. Now I'll move this back up. There, okay. So we have the blend modes here. So we'll go here and you could try a couple different ones. Overlay, soft light. What I usually do is I use color. So the color blend mode. And if that's too strong, you could pull the opacity down. Or if it's not strong enough, or if it just doesn't look right, what you could do is you could try to reverse it by clicking here. Uh, you could dither it. That usually doesn't do a lot. What you can do is again click on this drop down. And then right here, uh, you have some choices where you have those five different colors that we added to the image. You could move those around. So if you don't want specific colors in certain places, you could sh uh, move these around and kind of shift the colors so that a certain color wasn't in the midtones, you could move it so it's more in the midtones, or another color isn't in the shadows, you could move it so it's more in the shadows. So you could try moving these things around to get it to look the way you want it to look. And let's just say that looks pretty good, and it's okay, so you're all set. So that's really as easy as it is to do nowadays. Um, you just really could do it all from within Photoshop. And again, before we had to go to color.adobe.com and do it there and log in 
And then from there, you could extract the gradient. And from there, you could save it. And when you save it, it will be saved to your libraries. And it will be right here. And typically, then what I'll do, I have a group here called colors. I'll just move that into there. So it's in there with colors now. That's all. Just drag and drop. So now that gradient is extracted. It will be in your Photoshop forever and ever and ever. So hopefully that helps you extract and apply gradients in Photoshop. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>